Hey there. Today we will learn about Flutter, Google's newest SDK, and also how to go about installing it in Windows. First, go to Flutter's website. Click on Install on Windows and copy the line that I'm copying. Open the C drive, right click and click on Git Bash Sure. If you do not see that option there, you do not have Git installed on your computer. Install that and then continue. Once you've opened Git Bash, paste the line that we had copied earlier. Once the cloning is done, you can see the Flutter folder in the C drive. Go inside this folder, go into bin and copy the path to this folder. Go to this PC, right click and click on properties. Go to advanced system settings and click on environment variables. Click on the variable path and click on edit. Click on new and paste the path that we had copied earlier. Go to command prompt. This can be done by typing cmd or command prompt in the windows search box. Type the command flutter doctor. This will install the flutter SDK and all the important components needed for flutter. This might take a while. In the end, you'll see the doctor summary. That is a list of four items. The first one is Flutter, which was just installed. The second one is the Android SDK and the third one is the Android Studio. If you don't have Android Studio or the Android SDK installed, go and do that first. The fourth item in the list is connected devices. Since I don't have any connected device right now, it doesn't have the tick next to the option. Next time you run Flutter Doctor, it'll run it much faster and it'll show you the list of four items. Now open Android Studio and click on File and Settings. Go to the plugin section and click on Browse Repositories. Search for Flutter and click the green install button that you see below it. Click on Restart Studio as this will make the necessary changes for the newest plugin. As you can see, there is an option to start a new Flutter project. Select it. Select Flutter application and click Next. Change the project name. I'm going to name it First Flutter App. Since this is the first time we are running a Flutter project, we need to tell Studio where the Flutter SDK is. So we do this by going into the C drive and selecting the Flutter folder. After the project is compiled, you can run it either on an external device or the virtual device that Android Studio provides you with. This is how the application will look when you run it for the first time. Let's make some changes and run it once again. As you can see, the changes have been reflected. Now I'm going to introduce you to a new feature called Hot Reload. Let's make some more changes. I'm going to add some exclamation points after the com- Now instead of running the app again, I'm going to click on the lightning shaped button that is present on the top toolbar. This is called the Hot Reload. 
As you can see, the changes were reflected immediately. You do not have to wait at all like you would have to for an Android project, a typical Android project. And there you have it. We have successfully ran a first Flutter project. Do like and subscribe for more on point videos like this one. Also, this is the first of many videos to come based on Flutter. So stay tuned.